Hey, welcome to the ACET channel where we will be having a look at some of the products that is on sale from us and let's just jump right in. Today we will be having a look at another Kitty Sun product and it is none less than the PT6500. This is a UHF radio but you also get them in VHF. They do look similar and for this video I will look at the UHF visual. So the VHF is exactly the same, it's just that there will be an antenna difference. Okay, we have a little booklet with the carry strap, which I always deem as useless. We have the, the radio itself. Okay, we'll have a look at that just now. We have the charger, the charger transformer the antenna and the battery okay let's see what we have here and inside this package i see that they have already fitted the um the belt clip which um is one of these that slide onto the battery i'm just going to bring the focus in a bit um, and as you can see it slides from the top I don't specifically like this as if this part gets worn it can slip out however if the design is done correctly when the battery is fitted onto the radio the belt clip cannot slide out in this case the belt clip will be able to slide out which yeah this gives me a thumbs down for this design but Nevertheless, let's have a look at the rest of the product. Okay, the battery supplied with this one was a 1750 milliampere hour lithium iron pack. I suppose it's, it's okay for this size radio. The problem is just that this device has a, a display which uses a bit more power, which means that this could maybe not be enough power. Okay, I also see that the belt, uh, the battery clips into the bottom of the of the radio which i do not like as it means if you do drop the radio eventually the battery will break out and it won't be able to fit on the device without breaking away so i'm not too fond of this design however i think that the guys at kilisan may have thought it through and came up with this as the most practical solution I do see that that clip there for the battery is a metal clip so maybe maybe even if the battery does not hold onto the bottom it could still it could still stay on the device I cannot comment on that as I do not have experience with devices like this not having any grip at the bottom so for now I'm undecided on that, but I don't like that design. Okay, it is a 4 watt radio in UHF and 5 watt in VHF probably. And normal metal as you would expect all around. They have a dust cover there, which you can take away and have the accessory audio accessories similar to the Kenwood I would suppose uh, yes similar to the um, it is closer than the Kenwood I would suppose it uses its own configuration very close so it could be similar to Motorola you can unscrew this part so I would assume that you do get like a retainer clip for it okay having a look at the radio itself you can see it as a display with a few function buttons um, I would suppose they are all programmable as they are called P1 to P4 um, and a display I don't know how crisp it is just a observation which I see is the microphone is situated there inside the speaker area which is quite nice if you're designing a carry case of some sort um, and yeah it has a nice plastic PDT button which is has its advantages and disadvantages but it feels okay a up 
and a down button and it seems to have a discussion part which I do not know if it's replaceable or not but it seems like you don't need to replace the whole casing sometimes you do other times you don't so I cannot really comment on that it has an emergency button and I can see that it has a SMA termination for the antenna making it easy for you to have additional um, external antenna if you need one they did not make any protection for the volume knob so when the device drops you have that problem where it will break off I immediately don't like that as I know that's the first thing that seems to go faulty on a device the first time that you drop it even with the antenna fitted that seems to be a problem I'll indicate that later on again okay let's see what happens if we put the battery on how does it work um, seems to have a orange display comes on immediately um, I don't know how well this look in the day but it seems to be okay um, I'm going to put the radio on side for now let's just have a look at the antenna supplied it is a normal UHF antenna with the Kirisun marking on it seems to be a wideband antenna 400 to 470 megs and there is no cutting chart in it so and also the cap is not loose so I would assume that this does the whole band um, I cannot believe that you actually get an antenna on UHF that does the whole band but yeah that's the size of the radio um, if I key it you will see that it has a a display a LED display for TX it's probably the same light as for receive um, there you go so it is a dual color LED and um, that will come on for transmit and probably illuminate on receive okay as this one is programmed um, there is nothing seem to be programmed into it um, I wonder if it's got voice enunciation probably does I'll put um, the user manual and the brochure in the link below and you can have a look at that now once again as I've indicated earlier on the problem with the device like this is when it drops you have that condition where it will fall um, on the ground and it will bend the um, volume on off switch immediately a costly exercise if it does break off frustrating if you cannot afford it and you're on duty okay let's have a look what else we had in the packet was obviously the um, transformer part um, and I don't know if it's too small to read let's see if we can if we can actually focus on that um, it seems to be a 12 volt 12 volt 1000 milliampere hour charger the fact that it's a 12 volt is good I do like it I'm just going to move my camera forward and put this in it has a normal DC type socket which is easily to obtain so immediately I do like the charger part as I can see that it is easy to use this device in the field you can program it in the uh, you can operate it in the field ever running off a solar battery of some sort it's not a weird voltage like 15 volt it's also easy to make a car charger for it you just snip the cable in half and make a car socket there so it is easily to recharge in a vehicle while you're driving okay LEDs on the front is power and error and charging I do like this immediately this tells me that this charger will be able to show you without having much intelligence whether it is working or not so yes when power is plugged in it actually shows you that there is power and it stays like that I do accept that this draws more power to have the LED running so maybe on a solar site it, you need to bring that into consideration but surely you now know that there is power there coming through yeah okay when we put the battery in the radio 
it fits easy i must say it, it it really fits easy it is a fairly tight fit and even with with a device um rattling like in a vehicle of some sort there is definitely a positive um charging indicator and it's not flashing on and off so it it's it fits very well it is fairly difficult to get it um in the wrong way um, i like that um also it seems like the charger has some intelligence after you put it in it thinks a while and then it goes to the charging side of it so it doesn't just charge i mean it thinks about it and then it charges it obviously it'll come up with an air condition or when it's full i suppose the led will go green i do not know yet anyway guys that is uh, what i wanted to show you today is the Kirisan PT6500 definitely a device that is more premium than the other cheaper items that they that they have. Um, it is a more premium device um, with a nice yellow LED screen, um, orange yellow. What I do like about the device is um, it is big. I uh, just remember with the belt clip, it is big. I do like. Um, the charger part of it, uh, multi-channels, I do not like the way that the battery gets mounted on the back and the belt clip on the battery. Um, I do not like that and then obviously the volume control thing which I have a big issue with. But apart from that, a nice little device, a big device, um, by no means entry level. It certainly has its place, I'm sure some people will pay the extra dollar for this. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If there's anything else you want me to have a look at, send me a line. And thanks for all the comments that all the people leave. Um, I appreciate any feedback I get. Stay safe.